Hello and welcome to the first video of the Brainy Heart. In this channel, we'll be talking about the human body. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the circulatory system and go on to the ne uh, nervous system and beyond. So let, let's start off with the basics of the circulatory system. So the circulatory system consists of the heart, arteries, and wings. These are the three building blocks of the circulatory system. So the heart is the pump, is a big pump that is the most important organ in our body. So let me give you two examples that you can relate to, and it's like the circulatory system. One example is the postal system. So the postal system is the heart is going to be the post office and the wains are going to be the people that bring in the post or packages and the arteries are going to be the postmen or postwomen that take out the letters and deliver it to your doorsteps. Another example is a pipe system. This is not that good of an example as the postal system, but let me just give it to you as some people like alternatives. So the tank is the, the tank is the heart. And the pipes that bring water to your pipes are the arteries, and the pipes that take out water into the sewage is are the veins. So let's get started with the basics of the circulatory system, uh, basic biology of the circulatory system. Let us start off with the heart. The heart is the battery of the human body. The heart stops working you will die, just like any electronic device that has a bad battery. The heart is located in the middle of your chest, and it is skewed a little bit towards the left side. The heart has four chambers, the atria, which are on the top, and the ventricles, which are on the bottom, the ones in the red. The heart is also separated into two sides. The right side and the left side. So this becomes the right atrium. This becomes the right atrium. And this becomes the right ventricle. This becomes the left ventricle. And this is the right, the left atrium, not the right atrium. Now that that's clear, there's a wall that separates these two sides. It's called the septum and it's right here. Let me just write that out. The septum. The left side contains oxygenated blood, and the right side contains deoxygenated blood. I just gave you a basic understanding of the heart. We'll dive deeper into the anatomy of the heart next video. Next, let's talk about blood vessels. Blood vessels carry blood to and from the heart. A blood vessel has three layers, as you can see right the tunica intima, which is the one right here, the one that this line is pointing to, tunica That is the tunica intima. The tunica intima is made up of a layer of endothelium. Endothelium helps in secreting factors that are involved in Regulating the blood pressure, a barrier between uh, blood and the vessel, and it lines the vessel, regulating the fluid. The tunica in the tunica media, which is right here, tunica media, which is the middle layer, is made up of smooth cells. Smooth cells have a role in regulating the diameter, 
the blood vessel as they can expand and relax. This also directs the blood flow. The smooth muscles, the smooth cells, also play an important role in regulating blood pressure and the, respon and the response to the factors secreted by the endothelium. The outermost layer is the tunica externa. Tunica. Tunica externa. The tunica externa is made up of collective tissues that wrap around the blood vessel, protecting it and anchoring it to the surrounding tissues. Now that was the anatomy of a blood vessel. Now let's go deeper into the types of blood vessels. There are arteries and veins. The arteries are the blood vessels that are red in color right here. And the veins are the uh, blood vessels that are blue in color, which are this right here, right here. Inside your body, veins are also red. But just for visualization purposes, many images have blue colored veins and red colored arteries. The art, let's start off with the arteries. The arteries take blood away from the heart. They take oxygenated blood to the organs from the heart in the systematic circuit. In the pulmonary circuit, the arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Some websites and people might remember arteries as the blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood, but it is not always true. So a better way to remember it is, is that they carry blood away from the heart. Like I said, arteries are normally red in color in diagrams. Now to the veins. Veins carry blood to the heart. In the systematic circuit, they bring back deoxygenated blood from the organs to the heart. In the pulmonary circuit, the veins bring back oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. The systematic circuit is the circulation between the heart and the organs. And the pulmonary circuit is the circulation between the lungs. We will talk more about these circuits in the future videos. Now back to the wings. Like I said, wings carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart in the pulmonary circuit. Some websites and people remember wings as the blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood, but a better way to remember it is by saying that veins carry blood away from the heart and arteries carry blood to the heart. In summary, the circulatory system is like the postal system or a pipe system, however you want to remember it. The heart is the post office, the people are the veins, the postman and postwoman are the arteries. I hope you have understood the basics of the circulatory system. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, com comments, or suggestions. Check out my blog at brainyhearts.wordpress.com. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you later in the next video. This is the Brainy Heart signing off.